She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Mary Cantalejo. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I create new content every week and hopefully you guys enjoy it. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want more of like, you know, stationary and, you know, planning life out videos. I don't even know. Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm basically going to talk about me planning for the month of August and like the preparation and what I do to stay organized within the month and I'm trying out new things every month so please beware that like if the next video I'm planning out September, it's like completely different is because I'm just trying to create an organization, you know, tool that works for me or I don't know, way. I don't even know a way that makes me feel organized and prepared and makes me motivated to get on with the month and to make sure that I am being the best Mary I can possibly be yeah. so today I'm going to be showing you guys two ways that I kind of keep myself accountable but like it goes hand in hand together but it's really not two ways I don't even know I have my planner which I will be showing you guys what I write in it and then my bullet journal where I write my daily habits so this is my planner for this year I know it's kind of bright and white I don't even know this is my planner for 2020-2021 as a senior <laughs> I got this planner from Target I believe it was $14 for the medium size one. I think the next one, if you upgrade it, is either 20 something dollars, but it's better than the one online because the one online is like 45 bucks for a medium one. But a lot of people say it's so worth it getting the medium one on their website just because there's more space or there's more things that we need in the planner but honestly something this simple cheaper and somewhere i can really feel motivated to do it and it's so cute because it's like light pink um i'm able to do my work in is perfectly fine with me and i don't really need an expensive planner i say that now but i might get the one like medium later so i'm just gonna be sticking in this uh, sticking to this one i'm so ugh, i keep messing up in this video and then this is my bullet journal. I actually got this last year and I believe they sell it at Barnes and Nobles, I'm pretty sure. I wanted to order it from Amazon, but it was gonna take too long and I was very impatient. I believe this was like 15 bucks for this. But normally I'm like, I wouldn't really buy something like this for $15 because you can honestly get a notebook for 50 cents. But I don't know, all the pages were empty and I thought it was just such great quality. I don't even know but for right now this is kind of what I'm using for my habit spread it used to be you know where I did everything and this is where I had September and I like actually did stuff to it but now I don't use it it's just full of empty pages empty ideas or empty ideas empty yeah empty pages random ideas and i don't really use it that often so i use it to track my habits because i don't use it every day but i would like to start using it every day does that even make sense it probably doesn't make any sense Ugh. as for like pens and pencils and all those things i actually use i i don't even know where my big pencil went but i have the big pencil pack and it works perfectly i've had it for like three years now i'll probably put a picture right here and it works perfectly that's my pencil but i normally don't use my pencil for my planner but for my bullet journal to like trace and create the boxes you'll see in a bit um what i mean by that <laughs> um i use my pencil for it but other than that i really don't use my pencil but what i mainly use for both are my mild liners and a lot of people say like it's not even worth it to get all of this or like the mild liners itself just because it's super overpriced and i'm gonna like agree with them it really is overpriced and the ink runs really really fast and i don't like that but it does run really fast and i hate it 
but I love these so much and it's so aesthetically pleasing to write with, but it's so overpriced. It's annoying, but I still buy them. I don't know, I'm weird. But I used these and I got them last year and I only, it's not that I only have a couple left, but the ones that, the colors I would like, I already finished them, so I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna get another pack just because I mean, what's the point? I'll probably get it when we actually go back to school, you know, like back to school in January. But for right now, I think these are fine. These are more than enough for me. But again, I would like my preferred colors. I don't know. I love stationery so much. I love shopping for stationery or I like sitting in the aisle where there's stationery stuff because it's just so, it, just, it feels so homey. The next thing I really, really, really love are my Sharpies. And then the last thing that I really love are my Stadler, Stadler, whatever, tri triples. Why can't I pronounce it today? Stadler tri triples. Oh my God. Stadler triples finer, fine. Stadler triples fine liner. Oh, it's so annoying but anyways i love these so much because they're really thin again and i can use them in like you can't even see it it's like tiny but i love these so much because they just fit into the little boxes on my planner so it just works out so perfectly now that i've shown you guys my stationery and the planner and the bullet journal i use i'm going to show you guys how i create my spread for every month the way i track my habits my healthy habits and the way i just organize my life pretty much so yeah let's hop into it okay guys so this is my day designer 2020 21 planner and when you first go to the planner, there's this cover and the actual cover of the planner is a pink and white stripe with an accent of gold in the front. And that like goes along the whole planner, like the whole theme of the planner. And this is the front that say, de that, well, that says like day designer. <laughs> so this is the calendar overview. I accidentally already wrote something for August just because I was planning something with someone and I needed to write it down. I totally forgot I was going to make this video, but this is how a monthly over like overlook looks like. And I'm showing you guys some Deborah because like August was, you know, had one box filled. As you guys can see on the left side, I'm kind of like highlighting um, little things and basically what I'm doing is I'm doing little strips of color and I'm going to categorize that for the month. So normally that really switches up. Sometimes I want podcasts to be like blue. So then I'll like categorize it as blue. So as you guys can see the orange one, I put Chloe Ting and I'm not even going to lie after creating this video, I didn't actually really do Chloe Ting, but I try to make a conscious effort by writing that throughout the calendar to make me motivated to keep on going although i haven't really done it for like a while <laughs> after categorizing the color then i input it to the days into my calendar and i also apply my rest day so what i like to do is three days of chloe ting and then a rest day three days of chloe ting and then a rest day but honestly i haven't really been committing to that but i will soon i promise then I categorize all um, school stuff with blue, like a light blue color, and then I categorize the purple color, like a violet or lavender color, for all my um, uploads for YouTube. And I'm just continuing all the pink for my podcast uploads on Monday. For right now, it's kind of all jumbled up together. I really didn't have a plan for August. I kind of just like had it at the top of my head and sometimes I just copy it off my google calendar but for this like thing I mean like for this month I had really nothing going on so I kind of just like filled it up with like miscellaneous stuff I guess so Chloe Ting workout first day of school and days that I have to upload for podcasts and my youtube channel first day of school I have it literally next week it's crazy and I also put a sticker on it because you know it's first day of school I have to remember that <laughs> Moving on to the habit tracker or part of my bullet journal thing for the month, um, I wanted to show you guys last month's bullet journal and I, I mean I did some stuff for my habit tracker but honestly I feel like I could do better for August so I'm going to show you guys how I create a spread like that. So obviously you got to start off with an empty page but I promise you it'll look pretty good and also do you see me struggling just like flipping the page? 
by the way this isn't actually my idea i found it on pinterest i'll link it down below and someone had this idea and i thought it was brilliant so please don't come at me saying that i i stole it i really thought it was inspiration and i feel like it'd be great just to share it to you guys so first i create a title and as you guys saw i use the ruler just to make sure that my title is kind of in line with each other and in check and i use my thin um sharpie and also my thick sharpie and i use the color blue because that is what i'm going to create for the color for this month and as you guys see i'm just still creating lines i want the boxes to be perfect you don't have to do this a lot of people what they just do is they just create boxes for themselves but i like them to be aligned so i kind of make a grid for myself as you can see right there i'm kind of like doing it with sharpies and making sure that it's even and they actually weren't even it was super annoying but i like to make sure that they're all perfectly straight align on both sides whether it's going up and down or you know side to side so <laughs> yeah After I create seven lines for the seven days of the week and then I have five lines or to make like, you know, squares for five weeks or like five rows in a week, but actually I needed six. So I made a mistake. You guys can see it later. But as you guys can see, I created like little grid boxes from five, like five by seven. I think that's what it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I also take my brush pen. I totally forgot to mention this. I have no idea where this brush pen is from. I kind of just found it. And it is um, a really big part of this bullet journal thing because sometimes my sharpie actually runs out of ink and so i kind of just use my brush but like only the tip i don't even like really brush down i only use the tip of it and that's how i create created these lines but i really do prefer using the sharpie one but again i always run out of ink with it i have no idea what i do wrong with it but it always happens that way and also as you guys can see i was scrolling because i was kind of just watching youtube videos so if you're creating a habit tracker like this it will take some time it took me about 40 to like maybe an hour or an hour and a half to really like get like the perfect lines and like the perfect everything before it honestly the one that i showed you guys before that only took me about 30 minutes to do but i really wanted this one to be perfect but honestly my habit trackers and like things on my bullet journal are never perfect and i just don't feel like restarting it so for the people who do restart i give them so much props for doing that because i have no time and no energy and no patience to do that in the first place but yeah look at that hand motion i'm really proud of myself that i can somewhat do straight lines look how perfect that is that's that's gorgeous that's so cute that's what you should have <laughs> and then i started filling in all the boxes or at first i highlighted the top to create a title for it and like all the habits that i want to track for that month and then i kind of went back to my old one just to see which one i wanted to keep for the month of august and i have chloe ting retainers um i always forget to put my retainer my youtube post how often i post journaling skincare green tea towel often do i post on tiktok uh, how often do i put on my eyelash serum and of course how often do i you know post on my podcast and really like have like a podcast like you know day for myself and then i just end up filling up the numbers and as you guys can see i added like extra boxes at the bottom because i actually did not count the boxes correctly so that's kind of my own fault but here's a lovely overview and then i put some dots with like blue markers like blue and black dots at the bottom because i just thought it looked really cute and it looked really bland at the bottom and i didn't feel like putting a quote because i got too lazy but look at that aesthetic movement of my camera pretty pretty classy thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to please like this video and give it a thumbs up it really what like thumbs up same thing but if you guys would like it and maybe comment on this video i promise that i will comment on anything that you want to comment on this video and this video really meant a lot to me because it was like my first one and something I love watching on YouTube. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, make sure to subscribe and follow me on my Instagram and social medias down below. And also I have a podcast where I'm also going to be talking about more of how I plan. So make sure to check out Making Mistakes with Mary, which is my podcast series. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.